everybody, I'm Pascal uh, from Morocco Industry Service and Engineering from Morocco. I'm here with Jones uh, Intelligent Technology in order to work uh, in, uh, on their uh, drug for spraying, agricultural spray. Okay, so here we will show you how to operate a drone from the beginning. As you can see here, this is the drone uh, uh, fold, and we have to unfold the drone and to make batteries to uh, assemble batteries in order to power the drone so we start first by unfolding different arms okay here as you can see this is uh -huh. and six arms then we unfold the propellers okay good after we power the drone, this can come from here. So we tie, we tie the, the two batteries here on the top, on the top of the drone. Okay. The batteries must be well tightened in order to avoid vibration and. Moment. Then we plug, uh, we plug the beep voltage for good. As you can see, a voltage and different information of the, the the first battery, and we do the same for the second battery. Before powering the drone, we have to power the uh, remote control radio from here, as you can see. Uh, Good. Then we power the drone. So we start from the right to the left. Yeah. We start with the black, red, black, and red. Now the drone is powered, as you can hear. So the GPS calibration uh, <coughs> need the first uh, operation is to the stick SC here, as you can see, up and down from 5 to 10 times until the LED light uh, becomes yellow. This, thank you. Good. Now, as you can see here, the LED light is green. Then we turn around vertically the drone until the LED light become change colors between red, green and yellow as you can see here. Then we put the drone on an horizontal plan. Okay? The next operation is to and power the drone from here. Okay, just one plug and unplug and plug. This red Okay, the next operation is to calibrate the IMU. Okay, so we need the application. So we plug here the USB cable of the application and we connect the, Okay, we try again, as you can see his GPS is good so the application is connected to the drone, okay? Then now we go here, here the, the drone is not on a flat surface so we have to move it on a flat surface. Can you help me please? Now the drone is on a flat surface. Now we can proceed to the IMU calibration. So we do it from here. As you can see here, accelerometer. So we push this button, and as you can see, the accelerometer, successful accelerometer calibration. Okay, now the IMU is calibrated. We finished the calibration of the GPS and the IMU. 
One the most important remark here is when you proceed to the calibration of the IMU, you don't move, it's forbidden to move the drone during this process. Okay, now we have the GPS calibrated and the IMU calibrated. We can start flying. There is three flight mode, the, uh, the EB mode, the GPS mode, and the attitude mode. Uh, you have to note that all landing and takeoff must be done in the GPS mode. After calibrating uh, the GPS and the IMU, uh, we check all the parts of the drone are okay and we refuel the tank in order to start our first operation in GPS mode. We, we have to start our checklist before making any flight. Okay, so uh, the, the first step is to check different parts of the drone. The GPS are vertical, the different batteries are uh, are good and the structure are well tightened and screws, propellers, uh, the, the, the nozzles, etc, etc. So we have to check the overall of the drones. There is no problem before starting any uh, mode, flight mode. Okay? In order to uh, make it possible for farmers to uh, to follow the movement of the, air car, the, the the drone and to see what happens during the flight path. Uh, the drone is equipped with a camera and FPV. Uh, as you can see here, the image taken by the uh, camera uh, mounted on the drone. Okay, so now uh, in order to uh, make it possible and uh, give an example, we start flight mode with GPS mode manual mode. Okay, so we choose the uh, GPS mode. Okay, so we don't need the application. That's why we unplug the application here. So and then uh, we start. You can see it, please. So we throw the two stickers down in order to. Uh, then we take off as you can see here the drone is steady it, it uh, has good performance and stability and it doesn't move and you, as you can see here in the image it's really stable we can see clearly the image without any vibration any other problems okay so we take around okay. after takeoff as you can see if we don't touch any stick the, the drone still have rain all the time uh, to move forward we have to push the stick the right stick forward like this to move uh, uh, to the rear we push we pull the this stick there and when we uh, we don't touch the stick the drone still hovering okay if we want to move uh, to the left we pull push the stick to the left it's and right. the same to the right and the same for the left okay if we want to make your movement uh, we push the stick right for left to the left we push the stick to the right if we want to make a yo to the left we push or pull the stick to the left okay uh, in to change the altitude of the drone we pull and push the, st the left stick upward and downward if we want to uh, increase the altitude uh, the we push the stick upward and if we want to uh, in decrease the altitude when we push downward, etc. Okay, For the, the drone, the lead indicator must be in the face of the pilot, okay, in order to have a reference for piloting the drone. Good. So, this, uh, this first operation is to show you how to. Uh, uh, to land, to take off, land, move forward, downward, etc., uh, etc. Et now we'll uh, make the drone landing and refueling the tank in order to, uh, to make another operation.
Operation of spray, okay? The landing operation must be done slowly in order to avoid damaging or crushing the drone. And to stop the propellers, we have to keep this stick, the, the left uh, stick, three seconds. One, two, three. And let the stick 